Welcome to our Science-Based Solutions for Anxiety course. A lot of us who have struggled with anxiety have maybe experienced going to your doctor only to have them tell you that everything looks normal and there's nothing wrong. Not only is this incredibly frustrating, but it offers you literally no solutions to actually resolving the symptoms that are very, very real for those of us experiencing them. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can safely and naturally determine the causes of anxiety so that you can lay out a course for resolving it naturally. So Dr. Kirkendall, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So you have worked with thousands of patients. Mm -hmm. What would a um, session or program working with somebody with anxiety, uh, what does that look like? How do you go about maybe determining what the causes might be for that specific person? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I mean, the first thing is, is that most people coming in, you know, anxiety is not really a thing that you can put your finger on. It's not like a typical diagnosis, like a lot of medical doctors would diagnose hypothyroidism or a type of cancer. What it looks like is a list of just endless symptoms. And so mm -hmm. people go in and the doctors really don't know how to pin it to anything. And so when you look at different tests, they don't show up, pro you know, actually where it explains what exactly is going on. So mm -hmm. what's important is to just take a general view and get a really powerful uh, story and get a really powerful objective. Like this is what's been going on in my life. These are the symptoms. This is where I can't sleep. This is what I'm eating. This is what I'm drinking and really look at what are we putting into the body, right? Which is the mm -hmm. first step and actually what is coming out and what's actually being excreted because a lot of people are struggling with that part. You know, right. it may look like it, you know, in the form of uh, constipation or they may look like like their liver's not clearing. And so with first step is one, get the, get the big underlying what's going on with the symptoms, right? Mm -hmm. Step two is running some blood chemistry. Now the blood chemistry I run is an, a functional type approach. So we're looking at the big overview, right? We're always going to look like the doctors do at the allopathic numbers, meaning the mm -hmm. numbers that fit within a certain reference range. But then what we're going to look at is functionally, how do the numbers look like in tighter ranges? Because you have to be really out of balance in any of those numbers for them to show up on the blood chemistry because they're always trying to balance. You know, your, mm -hmm. if your calcium or your phosphorus is off in your blood chemistry, they have to be really out of balance in the body in order for them to show up in, out of balance in the blood. Like right. we've already gone way down the line, you know. Right. So we want to look at the blood work and really and then look at tighter numbers because the medical community or the even natural community are having trouble finding, okay, we don't, we can't really figure this out. So the blood chemistry is really important, really powerful. Mm -hmm. Then we can look at hormones, right? Through uh, free fraction, which is salivary based hormones. You can test them in the blood, but the best way to see like what the overall load of hormones is going on in the body um, is, is the best way is to do it through saliva, right? And you know, when you're testing any type of hormone, what you find is like a lot of times it's an, like they may have the symptoms of overload, but in blood testing, they don't show any overload. They look totally normal. And so they say, well, you're fine. But estrogen overloads or testosterone overloads, you know, testosterone in a woman makes a woman very aggressive and angry and have outbursts. And she doesn't really know why and facial hair growth and all these things, mm -hmm. you know. And so um, if they show up normal in blood and then, we're, well, there's nothing we can do. And it's like, well, salivary hormone testing is very important then because then we can see Oh, look, it's actually, you have a whole lot more free fraction hormone going on. Does mm -hmm. it make sense for that? Yeah. And I think that, you know, as you're talking here, it's, it's really illustrating why so many people go to their doctor and then the doctor does the blood work and it comes back and they say, Oh, your levels are normal. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with you. Yeah. And so what you're saying is that, you know, even when at first glance, mm -hmm. everything looks normal, the sure. numbers fit within a certain range mm -hmm. that you can actually 
take maybe a closer look at those numbers or maybe mm-hmm. look at how they are yeah. in relation to each other rather than just how You're they look. You're looking at all the really, yeah, functional, the functional approach of nutrition or functional approach you hear, functional medicine, is to <laughs> look at all the numbers and how they interrelate. It's not just this number means that, which mm-hmm. is a very different approach and it's much more inclusive and much more global, which right. is what you want when you're really struggling, right? Right. So number, uh, number one is blood. Number two is hormone. I mean, I always would say number one is actually comfort. But number three, we'd say in this one is like, hey, I've actually been through this myself. Personally, I've been through it. I know mm-hmm. it's a terrible thing. Mm-hmm. And you go to the community of whoever's out there. And if you're in an, an actual doctor, they're going to give you some type of calming, soothing herb or mineral. That's great. But there's also, you know, the medical approach would be some calming or soothing uh, pharmaceutical approach, which is a, far, you know, a drug that way. And so when, when you're doing either one of these approaches, you're still not getting to the, the core. So we don't want to just mm. keep treating with a natural approach even, you know, we want right. to find out what is the root. So having people really understand that, that the practitioner they've been to has been through this thing themselves and mm-hmm. know that they've actually don't suffer at all with this anymore. And, and they've been able to walk other people through it is a really huge supportive factor. Right. And then, you know, after blood and after hormones, there's many other tests. We could get into stool testing and all this stuff. But typically the, the main goal in my practice was always to not spend all of the money on testing. Let's actually get you investing it into your, your body and you recover and you heal. So it keeps right. more money in your pocket. It takes less time. And uh, some practitioners do tons and tons of tests, but they don't really go about treating it well. So... You know, I like blood chemistry. I like the free fraction hormones and some of the other tests that are available. Mm -hmm. Um, But then um, that's where applied kinesiology comes in as a secondary and tertiary treatment modality, both diagnostically and treatment. Because say that the free fraction hormones show up fine and your blood testing hormones show up fine and then all your blood chemistry show up just not really out of balance. And Mm -hmm. then it's like, well, now what, doc? You know, that's where applied kinesiology is really nice because we've kind of exhausted a lot of the testing modalities unless you want to get into really more less available you know immune system testing and Mm -hmm. normally if you're doing that you're going to find that stuff on the blood chemistry already right so so i was just going to say you know you mentioned the salivary testing for hormones is that something that somebody could do at home to just kind of like get a look at their hormones and maybe help be you know just a a piece to help guide them towards something. Absolutely. I mean, there's what I do is I give people an order slip. You still have to have it ordered through a doctor's office, right? And Mm -hmm. you take the slip and you just take it home and you do it in the comfort of your own home. So it's an actually a really easy thing, but salivary hormone testing is, is huge. But the main thing is after you do the test, you need somebody, you need a really good practitioner that knows what they're doing um, to understand this thing. And that's the, the biggest you know, difficulty for patients to find. Right. And so that's why this, this whole movement of functional medicine and functional nutrition has exploded because people are really, really desperate to get to the yeah. root. And what's beautiful about it is I always tell people, I'm not in here curing or treating your ailment. We're looking for the root underlying things. And when we start to address that, a lot of that other stuff just starts to float off. Right. Does it make sense? Definitely. It's like getting to the root of the glacier and then the rest of the stuff just cracks away. Right. So with the applied kinesiology as the, you know, that next step in this it's a great modality because i can go through and use a muscle test to determine okay is this person getting enough oxygen like is the muscle spasmed in the diaphragm like we showed on the video or is there an issue in the secondary respiratory muscles which is the scalene so if you're not breathing you're not going to feel very good Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. and you can that was the very first thing we talked about was oxygen deficiency oxygen oxygen and glucose you know if either one is off it doesn't matter what everything else is. It, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. you got to have oxygen and you got to have blood sugar that's stable or you're just going to feel terrible. And it may manifest in you know, anxiety or it could end up down the road and manifesting in polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's like It depends how long it's been going on. Right. And that's the beauty of having anxiety. It's a good thing because it tells you something is really off, right? right. And we look at lifestyle. That would be the, the, the next step is really like, you know, what does your life look like? You know, how's your relationships? You know, how's your relationship to work? Are you fulfilling what is a happy life? And most mm-hmm. people are just running hardcore all day long. And, you know, right. so they come in, laundry, laundry list of symptoms, and nothing really shows up on these testing modalities. And so looking at lifestyle and using applied kinesiology, 
we just use some simple nutritional interventions and push the body in the direction that it needs to go. And it's amazing. People naturally respond because your body is meant to move it towards and in a state of health and mm -hmm. vitality. It's not mm -hmm. just prone to break down all the time, you know. Right. So we're changing that paradigm. Yeah, and I think that that's the kind of like at the core of functional medicine is just that one understanding that, you know, more often than not, you know, your body doesn't just break down and start malfunctioning for literally no reason. Mm -hmm. There's almost always going to be some area uh, where your body's not functioning the way it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. So it's this kind of what to me seems like a simple approach. Uh, you used the uh, analogy of, of, of a river, you know, if the river's not flowing, you go in, you figure out what's going on, what's mm -hmm. blocking it up, and you just remove that one simple piece, mm -hmm. and then the river flows the way it's supposed yeah. to. The body heals the way it's supposed to. You know, if you've ever had a scratch or, a, or you know, a limb breaking even, mm -hmm. what does the body do? Yeah. It, heals. it heals. So mm -hmm. let, what can we do to get out of the way of that healing process and let the body do what it wants to do? Yeah, absolutely. So can you talk a little bit more about applied kinesiology and, and how it works? Sure. Because for somebody to see the muscle testing, it looks a little strange, you know, sure. and I, we've, this is something we've done for a long time on, uh, on Psyche Truth. Uh, and when you're actually getting muscle tested, you can tell. It doesn't convey as clearly on video, but you can feel that, you know, there'll be certain movements that you do and, you know, you're able to, to hold your hand back. You're able to exert that pressure and it's fine. And then suddenly you'll do another movement and you're just like have literally no strength at all. You know, can you explain why that is? You know, how does it work as a diagnostic tool? Sure. Well, it's, it is, you know, my office in Austin for all these years has been called the Applied Kinesiology Center of Austin. There are ones all over different states. You can mm -hmm. check your state. That usually a sign of a, a pretty, uh, you know, competent practitioner if they're willing to name their practice that. And it requires, you know, lots and lots of hours to learn it well. You can learn basic stuff really quick, you know, mm -hmm. and you see a lot of silly stuff online. But you can use this as a really wonderful, wonderful tool. And I couldn't imagine practicing without it because it just gives you an edge. People think, how did you? know this how'd you know that mm -hmm. it's like I don't know this your body tells me and the way it is is that you're electrical right and whether you eat an apple or you eat a Twinkie your body converts that energy into electrical energy right mm -hmm. and it runs what's called the citric acid cycle or the electron transport chain it's just this energetic thing if people have studied biology and chemistry they'll know about this process right it's what beats your heart right you've got the sinoatrial and the atrioventricular node and they're sending signals all day long and your heart is going to beat 100,000 times today which is pretty amazing you're not thinking about it as we're sitting here but all the while this is going on and so if your heart stops and you're in the hospital they're going to rub the little electrical paddles together and electrocute you to get your heart started again right. what's well, the same thing of the body is your bioelectric and you can measure you know EKG or electroencephalogram to affect and see what's going on with the heart, what's going on with the brain, and electromyelogram with muscle, right? And I tell you all this to give you a little context because we are electrical beings, we're bioelectrical beings, and we can measure that. I mean, that's a proven science, right? right? right. And with this device, for example, you know, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's just a light and sound ball, and it's kind of a silly thing, you know, but I use this to kind of show to patients. So in your an electrical outlet on the wall, you have a positive and a negative uh, outlet, you know, diode, I should say, right? right? And so if you connect the two circuits, right, if your little kid would have put their, like a wire in there, it will connect and it'll actually electrocute you, right? We all know this, it'll also mm -hmm. run your vacuum. So <laughs> if I am touching one side of the body in a muscle test, right, we're doing a muscle test and I'm testing that side, we could call that the, elect uh, the positive diode, right? Okay. And then if I touch another part of the body, I'm making a circuit, right? This is a circuit where we're completing the circuit through your body. So we're completing the circuit and then I can go actually through and test what do the lung fields look like? What do the thyroid look like? What does the liver look like? Right. And you're completing a circuit and you're saying, is an electron gain where the muscle's strong? And it's just not a strength test. There's a thing called a myotome test and a myotome test is where you you push really hard. You know, you'll see the medical doctors use that, and that's very valuable. Valuable. I use that as functional neurology. You know, mm -hmm. you can find out all types of major gross weaknesses of the body. But this is not myotome testing. This is applied kinesiology testing. So, 
very light pressure, maybe a pound if that, right? right? And you're just equally resisting to what I'm pushing. And if we touch an area of the body where there's an electron drain, right? Meaning it's just a weaker organ. You'll get a little bit of weakness. So you don't need to have this huge muscle thing. That's mostly just for show and to show the patient, <laughs> like this is what's going on. Right. But I use very little weight. Like when you, when you're doing this appropriately, it's just the slightest little thing. It's a form of biofeedback. And there's many very expensive machines and some lesser that can actually show this electrically. Mm -hmm. But with the body, when people see that, it's a little bit more weird for people. But I always say proof's in the pudding. And when you get on the table and you feel the difference, people feel the difference. And mm -hmm. they're like, whoa, that is really interesting. When the blood chemistry doesn't show anything, the muscle testing can be really helpful. Right. And you can use that, which is nice. So say your AST and ALT and GGT, these are markers for liver and gallbladder, show up uh, out of balance on a blood test. Whether medically, like, oh my gosh, this is really, really a stressed liver, mm -hmm. or functionally, meaning the liver's just under, you know, being stressed, but you're having a lot of allergies and you feel like you can't lose weight. Your liver mm -hmm. will get congested. You know, this is it's an oil filter. Everything you eat, think, and drink, you know, goes through the body. So if it weakens over that liver, we can give you a little bit of a nutritional supplement. And the way you'll learn it through the Professional College of Applied Kinesiology, this, they teach only doctors, right, mm -hmm. is they have you put it in the mouth because the buccal mucosa receptors of the mouth send a stimuli to the brain that you've ingested this product and they can actually back this up now. This is really, really cool. Yeah. So, so if it's on your tongue and your mucosal receptors receive it, then we know, okay, this is actually strengthening this organ, right? Now to some people that looks a little woo woo or it looks a little strange, but after doing this for thousands of people, you know, I'm kind of always in amazement because mm -hmm. a lot of the times all I'm doing is asking questions. Yes, no. Should we do this? Should we do that? And the body's yes. Thank you. Please give me some more of that. No, get that out of here. I don't want this product, you know. Mm -hmm. You'll literally, some things that I would think would be good for somebody, I'd give that to them and their body's like, no way. Like, they got nothing. I'm like, okay, resist. Are you, are you here with me? You know, like they may be thinking about their cat or something. I'd bring them back to the room and I say, you know, are you, are, you know, are you, is this a good product? And the body's like, don't even try it. Wow. Because your body is very biologically and biochemically different than mm -hmm. my mother or somebody living on the other side of the planet. That's why we want to tailor make the approach that we give people because we're all different. We all have right. different reasons for anxiety. We all, you know, mm -hmm. and with this, it's very powerful and it helps to um, accelerate the, the healing journey. And a lot of these healing journeys, they're not, they're not a long return. Like you see a lot of people out there struggling. You don't have to think that this is going to be a long, arduous journey. It doesn't necessarily go that way. Mm -hmm. Some people are more um, difficult, but honestly, in the practice, I was working with people one and two month programs. And by the end of it, you know, they really did One didn't... or two months to yeah. resolve anxiety. Yeah. It, every single person is very individual. So this is like not our one to two month guarantee, but it's like, it really All doesn't right. have to take a long time. When I was struggling with severe chronic fatigue and severe fibromyalgia and anxiety, it was the most terrible experience of my life. Mm -hmm. And I went in in total disbelief, even about the practitioner. I didn't believe in Chiropractic. I didn't believe in applied kinesiology. I was a total skeptic. And this is how Bruce, Bruce Lipton was. He went out to disprove applied kinesiology and chiropractic. He's now one of the biggest, you know, staunch supporters, you know, and he's, a, uh, I believe what molecular biologist, you know, he's out there. Everybody's heard of Bruce Lipton by this point. And if you haven't looked him up, he's great, but it is a very, very quick and easy process typically where we because we're not treating the issue the 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 actual diagnosis we're just uh, addressing the underlying issue mm -hmm. and all of those things like you start to breathe better you start to move more you start to have support that your body wasn't getting before you're moving things in the river out of the way so it starts to eliminate you know and in mm -hmm. urine and defecation you get rid of the toxicity or chemical exposure or hormone overload because remember if you have any overload in the body whether it's hormones or metals or chemicals or bacteria even, you're going to urinate and defecate them out or you'll breathe them through your lungs or you'll actually, it'll come out through the skin, right? So the body will naturally release it just like the river. 
and without trying to force it with a drug or try to force it with a knife, very quickly people recover and it's really, really wonderful. I never really thought about that until now. It's really one and two month programs, sometimes three for more difficult cases. But people, if they didn't respond, something was really seriously wrong or they had a really deep underlying infection. And that's why I didn't spend a lot of time, energy and money uh, putting people through really, really advanced. There's so many advanced testing mm -hmm. out there. And the power is in the basics. Instead of spending money on all these really involved tests, there's mineral imbalances and uh, you know all different types Heavy of ways, metals, metals like and chemicals, and all of that's good. You know, all of that's necessary. But the reality is, people don't have endless amounts of money for testing. So if right. we use modalities that, for those you know, may look a little more skeptical, I was too. If you're open to it. Just give it a little time and you're mm -hmm. going to see a result. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm that confident about it. I just right. know this now in my being. And so, right. yeah. And I think, you know, one of the biggest things that comes through in talking about these different ways to approach and ways to kind of uh, determine the underlying issue, it's non-invasive. Mm-hmm. You know, which compared to, you know, by and large, most of the times if you're going into the conventional uh, medical arena... Almost anything that they're going to try and do is either going to be like, okay, we're going to fill your body up with radiation and then put you through this, you know, which is not only an incredibly, in, you know, potentially invasive and dangerous, costs a huge amount of money. Mm -hmm. You know, so just on that one simple piece of this applied kinesiology is completely non-invasive, not mm -hmm. harmful at all, literally no side effects, except that you maybe feel skeptical going in. Yeah. Um, and, and in terms of the cost, you know, paying you for the session or whatever. Yeah. And it's, it's really very affordable. It's very affordable. I mean, right. just radiation, you know, it, like alone, say you're running a test on a body, you're, you're exposing it to ionizing radiation. Radiation, that, that alone breaks DNA and causes cancer cells or what's called teratogenesis where these cells start to mutate you know mm -hmm. and that's a known thing that's why we want to reduce the amount of ct scans which were equal to thousands of x-rays in one you know examination mm -hmm. so they're doing things all day long that actually cause a problem versus doing things that are very innocuous will not cause you any trouble and all we're using is food and some nutritional support mm -hmm. to gently guide the body hey body let's you know let's stay uh, let's stay off the railing you know let's mm -hmm. come back into the line that we need to be and you know it's it's a powerful thing it's a wonderful thing and you know I'm grateful to have done it for so many years now and it's yeah. it's available to people now and it's not really that unheard of it's available right. and out there yes and it's wonderful that it is becoming so much more common mm -hmm. and i think that you know people are just uh, they're exhausted with being told, you know, you're normal, everything's fine, it's all in your head, we have no answers, we have no solutions. So just that there are solutions, uh, it also kind of reminds me of that, you know, which is kind of a common philosophy in, in natural healing, to listen to your body. Mm -hmm. So the anxiety is telling you, hey, something's going on, something's mm -hmm. wrong, whatever your, your symptoms are, is your body's way of trying to communicate with you. Exactly. And then you use these non-invasive methods mm -hmm. of blood testing, salivary testing, applied kinesiology to help get a closer look at what's going on inside the person. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a great example of, of listening to the body, letting it guide you to Always. the solutions. Yeah. Uh, so you're not at the current moment, but you will be based in Costa Rica mm -hmm. here very shortly. Sure. Um, is there still a lot that you can do to help people, even if oh. they actually can't come and work with you, mm -hmm. you know, in person? There's so much. I work with people all over the world. I worked with hundreds and hundreds of people over the phone. And what we do is we can do the blood chemistry, we can do hormone, we can do all of the lifestyle and evaluation of all of that stuff mm -hmm. remotely. So people don't even have to leave their own home. That's the most beautiful thing wow. about telehealth, really. And it's, it's affordable and it's powerful. And if people want to go deeper, which is what I'm really passionate about, because anxiety, thank goodness for it in my life, if I hadn't gotten sick, right, and had the anxiety and the chronic fatigue and the fibromyalgia diagnosed by the medical doctor and then found a person that really shifted my life, this is the way I believe that our body or our heart speaks to us and mm -hmm. say, hey, what you're doing really stinks in your life. Why don't we, why don't we offer you this, this wall to overcome 
So now that you're here, you can do something actually really of uh, importance or value or do you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. for me, I just was kind of lost. I was feeling sick and I was uh, and all of that and my sickness and breaking through that really, really transformed my life. And so people, what I love doing now is bringing people into immersive experiences where they can go from that anxiety space and we can do, you know, work with them, healing work out there in nature, which is the best, mm -hmm. way better than any doctor's office. That's why I left the stuffy, stuffy doctor's office. But then we can actually work on what are we moving you into? What's the next phase of your life? Because thank God you have this because it kind of slapped you up beside the head, you know, and mm -hmm. it said, hey, this this is not working out for me. This is uh, kind of lame. My life is not fulfilling. And therefore, my body is freaking out as most of what this comes down to. Right. And then you're really in a state of power in a state of position where you can move powerfully forward in your life. So that's the most exciting part is like. You know, getting on the phone is one powerful thing and moving in the right direction, but then breaking through to the other side and then really right. being more grateful for your life than ever before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not only about, hey, let's alleviate your symptoms I don't or really let's care about help that. get you, you know, feeling yeah. a little better. This is like, let's get you back to looking at the bigger, grander things of what yeah, you want to do. What's your do. human purpose? Why are you here? You know, like, thank goodness for all of that. I really don't even care to work with people that just want to alleviate the symptom and then go on in their miserable life. That sounds terrible to me. That is a recipe for disaster because it's mm -hmm. going to show up in another form. It may not be anxiety, but it could end up in cancer, could end up in autoimmune disease. And it, it often does. I've seen it, you know. So I, I, I left this, the stuffy doctor's office to really go towards what my heart is calling me to. Mm -hmm. and, and I know people are excited about it. And that's why I've got a waiting list for it. So nice. <laughs> so, nice. But anyway, it's moving that way. And so if people are interested, they can look me up and actually work over the phone or in person. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Dr. Mm -hmm. Kirkendall. It has been so lovely chatting with you and I look forward to our next video. Great. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining us. You can find this full course on science-based solutions for anxiety on wellnessplus.tv or on Amazon Video. I really hope that you will let me know your thoughts, your questions, any kind of topic requests or other ideas that you would like to leave. I always love hearing from you in the comments section, and I do hope that you will join us for the rest of this course. If you'd like to learn more about Dr. Kirkendall, you can visit his website at lifeempowered.com. Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you again soon. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well-being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv, get well, feel better.